This is John Paul Rai. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. This article is called Amber Heard Ops for No Pants While Driving on My Way to Steal Your Toilet Paper. Yeah, that's right. So she's just kicking back, having fun when she's right in the heat of this case with Johnny. It's been going on for years. It should be important to her. And we've got the coronavirus that's pretty much worldwide. It's an epidemic. It's pretty much bringing everyone down. But Amber, you know, she's just chilling, having some fun, wearing bathing suits. Let's get into the article. Amber Heard's latest Instagram update didn't need to mention the novel Coronavirus by name. The 33-year-old actress and ex to Johnny Depp was clearly referring to the coronavirus as she mentioned stealing toilet paper. If you aren't in a hard-hit area, toilet roll does seem to be one of the essentials that's so scarce it's being marked up. Amber has disabled comments on her Instagram following immense backlash as 2015 leaked audio of her and the Pots Caribbean actor revealed her confessing to hitting Depp with pots and pans as the blast documented. Fans told the blonde that she'd never be forgiven. Amber is still posting though. And I covered that. Maybe a little detail that a few of you missed. She was hitting him with pots and pans. Although it should be no surprise at this point. Amber's Tuesday photo showed her behind the wheel of a car and solo as she drove in a rather revealing look. The Aquaman actress was wearing a long sleeve black sweater with the sleeves partly rolled up, also posing with her legs somewhat spread and her left limb up near the car's window. Shoes were worn, but pants weren't. So Amber Heard's just kind of driving around with no pants, saying she's going to steal toilet paper. Sounds like an SNL skit, some shit like that. You'd think... You know, even if you were, look, not everyone wants to worry about serious, death-threatening things and court cases. Yeah, you should be relaxing, but at the same time, for your public, for your fans, you should act mature and composed to a certain extent. Oh, this keeps getting weirder and weirder and dumber and dumber with her. The bare-legged shot announcing she's stealing your stash. Amber looked ahead as she drove then taking to her caption. On my way to steal your toilet paper, she wrote. So, now they get into her Instagram and what she's been doing with it. Amber has been updating her Instagram amid coronavirus, with today's photo being posted 20 hours after a video showed the blonde carefree and happy as she picked oranges in front of her yard. Excuse me, in her front yard. Whatever, same thing. A caption confirmed the star's fruit to be organic and her to be social distancing. Which is fine, but it's really about her attitude, you know? A lot of people, yes, you want to try to relax. You can't drive yourself absolutely crazy. But if you're a star, and especially since she's in this legal battle, does she really want to be acting like just some crazy teenager drunk out in the town wearing no pants in her car? I don't know. I think not. Amber isn't 100% behind closed doors though. The star has been photographed buying pants in Los Angeles with girlfriend Bianca Booty. If I'm saying that right, buddy, booty, booty, buddy. <laughs> Doesn't matter so much. Yet again, I'm just going to call her Bianca B. The two first sparked romance rumors after they were seen kissing in Palm Springs in January 2020. So I'm not actually going to hold it against her that she's using Instagram or social media. A lot of people are. I am. Yes, we have a serious situation on our hands, but life goes on. We're going to be in contact with people. We're going to talk to people. We're going to post pictures, but posting pictures with no pants, joking about stealing toilet paper. I don't know. I mean, like I said, everybody jokes. She's got the right, but look at her situation. You'd think she would be more apologetic to everybody. You'd think she'd be saying things to her fans, like, I hope you guys still enjoy my work, considering everything that's going on. I hope everyone stays safe from the virus. Stay inside. Here's what you could do. I'm practicing social distancing. 
here are some other good tips. You know, I know she's not some like freaking doctor or some shit, but she should be putting on like kind of like her good girl persona right now instead of just saying, hey, look, I'm going crazy doing some silly shit in my backyard, in my pool, driving around, looking for toilet paper. I'll steal yours. Seems like I'm learning more and more about her as time goes on. And I got to keep going back to this, guys. When I first came into this, I didn't really know who she was. I thought she was some actress who accused Johnny of the abuse, and that was it. And aside from that, she was pretty normal. But then, when I heard that she took a S-H-I you-know-what on Johnny's bed, I found that really weird. Then the thing with the finger, yep, I find that pretty disturbing. Now this stuff, yeah, it's not as bad, obviously, but it just really adds on to her character and the fact she can't control herself very well. And someone who can't control themselves certainly can't be trusted. And someone who can't be trusted definitely doesn't make the best person to go to court and tell the truth. That's the type of person who goes to court and should lose against some serious facts and evidence. And as far as disabling her comments on Instagram, I think that's kind of a wussy move, if I could say that. You know, leave the comments there. Take the heat. If you're going to do some seriously effed up stuff, just take your medicine. Let people see what the fans are thinking. You know, let your boss, let your coworkers see what everyone's thinking. Shutting the comments off is just like saying, well, I know people don't like me. I know people are going to say nasty stuff. I don't want to hear it. You know, ears closed. So anyway, you guys let me know what you think of this down below. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Going to give a shout out to C. Lee. She's been dropping me some great comments. And I will see you next time if you subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad. You probably won't care. I'll see you next time. If you are not subscribed to this channel, The Entertainment Hacker, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now.